Hello, everybody. Uh, today we are talking about uh, Venus in Sagittarius. This is a long and complex transit. Uh, Venus is slowing down. It is going to retrograde uh, and it is going to get combust. And finally, it is going to have a, a conjunction and war with Mars. So, uh, you know, we have to watch all this. Venus will start in Sagittarius. Uh, on 30th of October and the transit lasts till 27th of February. Uh, so this is a long one. There's a little uh, trip to Capricorn in between. So let us explore. Hello, everybody. I'm talking Venus in Sagittarius. Uh, do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification, and also, uh, you know, sign up for my newsletter. It's going to be out on uh, the first of every month. Uh, lots of planetary news there as well. So, what about Venus in Sagittarius? This is a long transit. Uh, from 30th October to uh, 27th of February. And, uh, you know, we have to watch it. There are lots of things happening. Uh, the most important thing is that normally Venus stays in uh, one sign for about 25 to 30 days. Uh, why it is being in Sagittarius for uh, you know, all of November, most of December, January, February, four months, because Venus is going to retrograde towards the end of this year. And, uh, but as it moves into Sagittarius, it's already slowing down. And it, it has uh, two trips to Sagittarius. The first trip is, uh, from 30th of, um, uh, October to 8th of December. Uh, the second trip is uh, 30th of uh, December 2021 to 27th of February 2022. Uh, plus uh, Venus is going to uh, be going direct and then Venus will retrograde. I'll make a separate video about Venus retrograde, but uh, this is sort of the bigger picture for you to understand. And then uh, Venus goes into Capricorn in December, and then from Capricorn it retrogrades on 19th of December and comes back into Sagittarius on 30th December, and there it will retrograde right up to 29th of uh, January 2022, then go direct and be there. So, uh, you know, we have to see all these different aspects of Venus when we are following Venus. And, uh, you know, what happens is Venus, the main significator of Venus is uh, relationships, marriage. Uh, so uh, when Venus is going uh, retrograde, uh, then it's a generally not a good idea to plan marriage around that time. But however, let's look at our own uh, personal relationships. Uh, they can get um, activated or they can get um, stressed out. So I'm going to break this down into the three sections. So the first section is Venus in Sagittarius. This is pure and simple. It is going to go through Sagittarius. There is no conjunction during this time. It is, does not conjoin with the sun. It doesn't conjoin with any other planets. It has finished a stressful transit with Ketu. Uh, so we feel lighter and happier and easy. However, something about Venus that you'll feel is that it slowed down. So some aspects are going in a sort of, you could say, you know, 1.5 slower speed, not faster, but slower. And it slowed down and uh, we are kind of pondering over whatever is happening. Sagittarius is not the best transit for Venus. It is the other guru's house. We have two gurus in Vedic astrology, Venus and uh, Jupiter, but it is a benefic sign. 
And during this transit, first transit of Venus, its ruler Jupiter moves from uh, Capricorn out of uh, debilitation to Aquarius on 19th of November. And Venus is quite happy, nothing happening. On 8th of December, Venus goes into Capricorn. And it is in Capricorn that Venus retrogrades and come back to Sagittarius on 30th of December. Now what happens is that when Venus comes in back to the sign, this is called an Ativakri transit. Uh, read up about my retrograde planets masterclass and I talk about that Ativakri. That means it is coming back to a sign to redo as if it didn't finish whatever it had to do in Sagittarius and now it's coming for almost two months in Sagittarius and it will be retrograding back and it is uh, going to uh, kind of go back into the arms of the sun. Now, whenever Venus goes into the arms of the sun, it changes direction as well because it is, uh, you know, coming uh, after the, um, it's an evening star and it becomes a morning star or it is a morning star becomes an evening star. But the main thing is this, that it changes the direction and the exact combustion of uh, Venus with the sun is on 9th. And it means that early part of January, Venus is going to be hidden from our eyes. And we can take it two ways. One is that uh, Venus is going to uh, be, uh, you know, taking on uh, fuel energy from the sun and then goes the other side, all re-energized and purified. And when it's ready to go direct, it is going to be uh, more um, uh, gung-ho. But uh, the other is that it's burnt out, it's hidden. So Venus issues are not being addressed. They are hidden behind uh, the veil of the sun. Powerful people, important people in your life, important people, governments, things like that. Uh, so either way will work. I'll talk more about this when I talk about Venus retrograde later on in December. Uh, Venus retrogrades once every two years. So it's not an annual retrograde that takes place. But during the retrograde pe period, we have to introspect, to think about things, what happened in the last two years regarding our relationships, regarding our, um, you know, finances. Uh, you know, those are the two areas that, uh, Venus is most interested in. Uh, and then uh, Venus goes direct on 29th of uh, uh, January and it is going to uh, go into uh, Sagittarius and Mars is in Sagittarius. Venus-Mars conjunction takes place. It will be a planetary war on 13th of February, so to watch out for that. And then uh, you know, Venus, uh, Mars is always a clash and irritability, but doesn't last very long. And Venus is still quite slow. It has not gained its full speed. And then it will move out end of uh, February. So this is a big uh, chunk of time that we have to consider Venus's transits. And Venus is a benefic planet. So generally, Venus is not going to be uh, very troublesome. It gets troubled by other things. So we need to watch the retrograde on 19th of December, then it goes direct on 29th January 2022. Uh, we have to watch the two uh, important uh, conjunctions, Venus with the uh, Sun and Venus with Mars, so January and February. Uh, but uh, because, uh, you know, it's uh, also in women's chart, it represents the womanhood. So we ourselves, you know, how we view ourselves, what we are thinking, we have to pay some time, uh, attention to it during the retrograde as well. Uh, so how does it affect you? Uh, Aries, uh, Venus is in your ninth house of the guru, advisor. Uh, Venus, Mars conjunction in February, that is a big one. Also for Aries, uh, Venus rules seventh house of relationships and second house of money. So those two key aspects of Venus are under consideration. And, uh, you know, when Venus goes retrograde, you may find your partners behaving in an unusual way. 
uh, you know, so there are many things to consider, and especially the Mars Venus conjunction in uh, February can be a clash. Uh, with your partner. So 13th of February, 2022. Uh, Taurus, Venus is your Lagna Lord. So this is a big transit for you. It's a long one. And Venus is in your eighth house. Eighth house is a house of unsettled energy. And what you have to be considerate here is that, you know, things can happen unexpectedly. And Venus is going to retrograde, it's going to stay a long time in Sagittarius. Uh, so, uh, you know, things are not that steady. You have to try to balance yourself, but also to understand that this is not all the most settled time. Now, the other thing to know, note is that the retrograde Venus also means it's very introspective time, as if you're not being allowed to move forward. Uh, you feel stuck in a situation and not allowed to move forward. Taurus is a fixed sign, so you don't like this unsettled energy change. Uh, so you have to uh, psych yourself, think about it. Gemini, uh, Venus uh, in Sagittarius, it is in your seventh house, rough relationships, not a bad transit for you at all. I think the only thing you'll have to watch out is when Venus is combust and then uh, in January and then in uh, February, that Mars-Venus conjunction on 13th February. But otherwise, uh, this is a rather pleasurable transit for you. Uh, Cancer, uh, Venus rules your fourth and 11th house home and career. This transit is in your sixth house. So this is not the best position uh, for Venus for you. Uh, it is, uh, you know, some obstacles, some difficulties uh, are coming. They could be something to do with home. You may need to repair, do something. Money uh, may be stuck. Uh, so, uh, you know, especially during the retrograde time, you need to be extra careful. But if things happen, react to it. And this is not a good time to uh, ask for a raise or to do any of those things because uh, Venus is not supporting you to uh, improve yourself. However, sixth house is Upachaya house. That means things uh, improve with time. So you may find that things will improve after uh, Venus goes into uh, Sagittarius and goes direct in Sagittarius in January. Uh, Leo, Venus is uh, in your fifth house, connected to children, creativity, ideas. It is also your uh, 10th house ruler in the fifth house. That is uh, uh, sometimes can bring uh, obstacles regarding career. Uh, so watch out for that. There may be some sudden unexpected movement that you have to deal with. And, um, you know, uh, Venus also rules the third house. So you can uh, be careful about what actions you take. Uh, however, you know, Venus in the fifth house can give a lot of creative ideas, a lot of um, good thinking, good thoughts, good advisors coming your way. Uh, watch out for uh, the combustion, but in the combustion, you are taking all the energy of Venus, so it is not necessarily negative. Virgo, Venus is a great planet for you. Sagittarius is your fourth house, home, happiness. So the first transit is very happy, positive. There's no drama happening there at all. Uh, then always we have to consider the day Venus turns retrograde. It comes back into Sagittarius. From there, it's aspecting your 10th house. So overall, what you have to do is to watch Mercury's transits. Venus is uh, only giving uh, positive aspects. And the two uh, uh, combustion in January and uh, the Mars uh, transit in uh, uh, Sagittarius, which I'll talk about later. Libra, Venus is your ascendant ruler. So this is a big transit for you. Uh, there's a right up to 27th of February, uh, all the things you will feel personally uh, and the slowing down. So, you know, you can slow down your life. You can think that I'm going to slow down. I'm going to uh, think about what I'm going to be doing, not just rush, rush, rush. 
Uh, and sometimes, you know, something is just slowing down. You yourself think that way. Third house transit, it's about effort, communication, uh, you know, ideas. It can be also connected to writing. Uh, it's a, a generally okay transit for you, uh, the first part of it. Now, the second part, 19th Venus goes retrograde. I'll make a separate video for it, but goes back into Sagittarius. Uh, after 30th of um, December uh, and will remain retrograde till uh, 29th January. So that means something you have to redo. Some things you've done now um, may be not finished. So if things are not finishing, don't worry because you'll get an opportunity uh, to redo them and uh, sort them out. Now, because Venus is going to be combust in the beginning of January, that means that you're a bit burnt out. So it is important that you take rest and relaxation, not overdo things. So we have to balance these energies. And then in February, we have the conjunction of Venus, uh, Mars, which is Mars rules your seventh house. So this can be uh, a warlike uh, fight dispute uh, with your partner. So be careful around that time. Uh, so that is their Scorpio. Venus in Sagittarius, house of money. Venus is not the best planet for you. It rules your seventh house and twelfth uh, house. So you have to be careful about your savings and about how you spend them. And this is not a time to uh, kind of uh, create major expenses, especially if it means that you are going to raid your uh, savings. So that is the most important thing. And then uh, the Mars-Venus conjunction in February 2022, uh, that is your uh, ascendant or moon ruler and seventh house. Venus rules your seventh house. Uh, so that can be a clash or, uh, uh, you know, both of you are on the same page. The issue is about money and spending. So the clash can be there. And so watch out for that. And also, uh, when Venus is retrograde, you may find that your uh, partners are behaving in a different way, uh, spouse as well. So you have to keep in account that their uh, planet, according to your chart, is going retrograde. Uh, Sagittarius, uh, Venus is in your uh, ascendant or moon sign. Uh, it's a nice transit. 11th house lord uh, can bring money. It's also the sixth house ruler, so it can bring opposition, although Venus is the opposite guru. So sometimes, you know, you think you're listening to the opposite side and uh, their issues are getting more dominating and people are not always listening to what you have to say. Uh, so this is a thing that I think you need to uh, watch for. But usually Venus is not troublesome. Uh, but, uh, you know, as the sixth house lord, uh, he's also saying, watch your health, take care of yourself. And that would be Capricorn. Venus is your best planet. However, it's transiting your 12th house of expenses. And it's not aspecting either your moon or ascendant. Uh, so there'll be a little time Venus comes into Capricorn in December. But this long transit is in your 12th house. And then, of course, you know that Saturn is either going over your ascendant or over your moon. So this is a time. Uh, to be extra cautious about spending. 12th house is a house of loss, expenses. You don't want to overspend yourself so that uh, whether it is money or emotions or efforts, your best planet is not supporting you just now by transit and it's a long transit. But 12th house is also a house of spirituality, uh, uh, charity, donation. Maybe you'd like to do something good for somebody else during this transit. Always uh, do what you can afford. You should never spend more than what you can afford. But, uh, you know, give something to the society, to some good cause. And that would be one of the good remedies to do. Uh, Aquarius, Venus is in your 11th house. It's a good transit. Venus is your best planet. 11th house is house of money, finances. Uh, so uh, earning. So this can be a great transit for you uh, to get opportunity regarding earnings and uh, 
you know, everything's been in your 12th house a bit, so you want some boost to yourself. So I think it's a much more easier transit for you to deal with. The Mars-Venus con conjunction in February is the 10th and 11th lot. So this can give some opportunity professionally for you as well. And just to uh, try to minimize the disputes. Uh, Pisces, Sagittarius is your 10th house. Venus is your opposite guru. However, 10th house is about career, opportunity. And opportunity can come from an unusual place, from the opposite camp, you could say. Uh, so uh, people can uh, appreciate you, uh, help you. Venus rules uh, eighth house for you. So eighth house means there can be sudden unexpected change as well in your career direction. I would say take that easy. Don't be in a rush. Uh, Jupiter is also in your 12th house. So there may be some changes, but don't be in a rush to make any changes. Uh, so that is it for today. Uh, do remember to subscribe. Thank you.